Of course, I guess I'm just a little bit perfectionate sometimes and waste my time doing this stuff, but you know, to me, it's like a hobby. Hey, KZ Guy 2 here, No Nonsense Know How again. Today, with a quick tip for you, if you're building a fence out of pickets instead of buying the panels, you may see my previous video of this fence I'm doing. So I wanted to show you a complication I ran into and how I addressed it. After pre-staining and drilling all these pickets, I went ahead and ran a straight line from over top there all the way over to where I wanted it to end up there and I set all my pickets on that straight line so they're nice and, and true. However, these pickets, they came in varying lengths by up to about 3 eighths, 5 eighths of an inch. And instead of cutting each picket, I decided I'd just trim them all off in the end so you see all these little, little scraps here. Like here's a section I didn't do already. I had varying lengths on them and of course that's a very minor detail. But I'm going to be bringing the grade up and once I get the grade where it's supposed to be, I'm going to be going back here with a 5-4 board and you know it's going to sit flush on there so you would see those gaps. So this is where I've already trimmed it. You can see that's going to look nice and flush and good. Now to accomplish that, I simply used uh, two old pickets and a uh, straight, true cedar board. You could use a piece of steel or anything or another. And uh, yeah, I'm basically clamping it up on the top. I know my top's nice and true and straight. And then you take a circular saw like this. I got a battery powered one. I mean, obviously you're gonna have to do your adjustments for your fence, but. And then basically, yeah, just run the circular saw across the bottom and get down on your knees. Now that looks a lot better. Uh, see, some you're cutting about a half inch off and some just a sliver. Some you're basically just kissing. I'm not showing you exactly how to do this. I'm just showing you what I did because honestly, this is pretty elementary. But measure all your pickets. Not, don't measure them all, but find one of the, basically what the shortest one is and use that as a reference because, you know, you don't want to cut more than you have to off of this. Now the one other complication I ran into was this chicken coop roof. Uh, it only gave me like a half inch or an inch of gap. So I had to take that same board right there and, uh, yeah, I'll clamp it on this roof and then cut about two or three inches off the end of it. Of course, I had this old uh, GE circular saw that I found at the flea market years ago. This thing's all aluminum, made in USA. Look at that, whoo, seven inch uh, circular saw. So I put a metal blade on there and you don't have to worry about melting the plastic or anything like that. This thing is built tough. I only paid like 10 bucks for it too. Of course, I guess I'm just a little bit perfectionate sometimes and waste my time doing this stuff but you know to me it's like a hobby i enjoy it and uh yeah feels good at the end of the day when you get it done and you're satisfied with the work so give the video a thumbs up if it helps definitely appreciate that check out the channel and uh until next time kz guy 2 no nonsense no how i'll see you later